do you see open source as a way to broaden global innovation rather than fragment it? I often refer as open source as a positive sum game. This is frankly how I have been able to grow Finos to over 100 members, uh, some of the most conservative industries of the world. You can imagine, you cannot start with open source for public good with those people. You know, I certainly come personally from a uh, grassroots uh, uh, movement and grassroots idea of open source. But when you then have to convince and sell a strategic level uh, at sea level, why would you share your intellectual property? Why would you contribute upstream? Why would you fund a maintainer when that is free? Um, it's important to recognize that open source is a positive sum game. And by positive sum game, I mean a game where not necessarily one person win and the other person loses. It's a win-win. You can, the very nature of open source means that you can absolutely, whether you are an individual or a corporation or a government, you can absolutely participate to open source and contribute to open source to drive your own selfish goals. So in a way, it's selfish altruism. But the byproduct is to your point that there is a global digital commons that is built out there that anyone can build upon, whether it be advancing the technology or whether it be com building commercial businesses over that piece of technology. And so I think that is sort of the crux that as long as we keep open source global and we don't start fragmenting it, sort of following, falling into the trap of, of uh, balkanization, of the, the nationalization of open source. Keep open source global, but drive your own goals and your own values, whether again, you are a bank or a tech companies or Italy, <laughs> drive your own goals through open source. Uh, and that is going to, you know, uh, uh, not only recruit a lot more people that likely are aligned in terms of those goals, but also to your point, allow you not to reinvent the wheel if you are a consumer. I mean, think about the AI race. Europe wants to play an important goal in the AI race. What are you going to do? You're going to restart up by writing Kubernetes and rewriting Linux? Well, you're never going to uh, catch up if that's your approach.